Hey Secrets readers, this is Carlo Larosso, Editor-in-Chief of Secrets Film Theater and Hi-Fi, and we're here at CanJam NYC. Uh, and I'm here with Dr. Feng Bien of uh, Hi-Fi Man, and um, I've got a couple things we're going to do. Uh, first is uh, I wanted to uh, present uh, Fang with a uh, a 2022 Secrets Best of Award for the Hi-Fi Man Aria Stealth Magnet. Thank Excellent. you. Thank you, Carlo. Thank there you. you. Go. I appreciate uh, I can get this award. You're very welcome. They're fantastic headphones, and uh, and our reviewer was was blown away by them. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna keep hard working, try to make some better products in the future. Oh, fantastic! Okay. And from what I saw, at, uh, just a quick look at the booth you, have, you guys have downstairs, you have some really new and interesting things, and uh, and love to find out uh, some more information about what you're what you're coming out with. Sure, sure. Yeah, we basically uh, in this year in the Ken Jam show we released uh, three new new uh, headphones and headphone fires. Oh. Uh, yeah. So the first one, the headphone is a close back, uh, mm -hmm. close back planner headphones called Audivina. Audivina. Okay. Audivina. Yeah. Audivina is a uh, is a special design for the studios. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah. So. You when when you uh, play music in the studios, you would do the record, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the microphone sometimes will be sensitive to uh, the open back headphones. Oh, okay, I never realized. All right. Yeah, so we want to make uh, planner headphones. You mean we want to make a, a planner headphones can do uh, close back, mm -hmm. so that it won't uh, uh, hurt the the microphone. Oh, so won't uh, interfere. Okay. Yeah, so in, we won't interfere the the, the uh, microphone at the same time. Uh, for most of the close back headphones I ever uh, worked on, mm -hmm. the, the some other open back uh, close back headphones, the the sound the sound stage is pretty narrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very sort of kind yeah. of closer to your head. Yeah. Yeah, uh, comparing to the uh, open back is small. So we want to figure out how to solve that problem. All right. All right. Yeah. So uh, we designed the Audivina. Uh, which has a large wooden ear cup, mm -hmm. um, can do a uh, uh, pretty large sound stage, as you heard. Mm, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, so that people, when, when they edit music in mm -hmm. their studios, they have the, that as a tool, they can give the, uh, the right uh, uh, feedback of the, of the positions of the instruments. So, you're, so it's definitely tuned more for a monitoring, uh, studio monitoring setup, so more, more of a flat, Kind of response or uh, yes, yes okay yeah we we normally have the uh, relatively flat frequency response so mm -hmm. it's not a difficult task for us to tune oh, okay. the, the frequency um, and the the name of that headphones Audi Vina mm -hmm. Audi means listen mm -hmm. hear and Vina is a kind of ancient uh, uh, instrument like an ancient guitar or oh okay I didn't realize yeah. so yeah so listen to the instrument which is what naturally they uh, Musicians do in the studio. In the studio, right, right. Yeah. Now, is it uh, it's just me? My observation from when I, I tried them on in the booth, um, very some similarities to uh, the HE one thousand yes. uh, in terms of sort of the, the shape of the ear cup and and the and the frame. Was that uh, was that intentional? Like you were getting some inspiration from that? Or? Yeah, they uh, when when the engineer work in their studio or the musicians work in their studios, they normally they, they, they have they have to wear their headphones for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the oval shape design um, like uh, the Olivina or the G one thousand, they uh, they have a much larger uh, touching area um, mm -hmm. on the ear pads. So it's more comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no they were they were when I tried them out downstairs, very comfortable. I thought the very, very nice. Yeah. Um, what uh, do you, have you guys set a price for it yet? Yeah, it's about two thousand dollars. About two thousand dollars. Yeah, oh, very nice. And are they available now or? Uh, it's going to be available in later March. Late in March. Okay. Yeah. Oh, very neat. Yeah. Very very neat. Good. Um, there, uh, there's another one uh, which is the name is Svenna. Svenna. Svenna is uh, is actually Swedish. Uh, oh, okay. Sven. It's a, oh. Yeah, like a beautiful bird. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Uh, that model is a uh, cabled in the ear. Oh, it's a cabled in ear monitor. Yeah, okay. cabled in ear monitor. So the in ear monitor, uh, right now, um, is uh, uh, becoming uh, very uh, uh, the price part is is very uh, different. Mm -hmm. Some some of them are very expensive. Right, yeah. right. So uh, this one is a two thousand dollar in okay. the ear. So if, even though two thousand dollar is not cheap, right. in that category. 
It's actually in the middle of the price. There are some crazy priced in ears downstairs just by walking around. <laughs> I saw like some like whoa, yeah. yeah they're, they're, it's it's a huge market. It is. I I'm just amazed. Yeah, um, it's like a. Um, like a gentleman's decoration. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to put it, gentleman's decoration. Yeah, yeah. No, they, 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 a lot of them are. It's like, it's like a fashion yeah. thing. It's like a fashion like a jewelry. Yeah. yeah, like jewelry. Exactly, yeah. exactly. That's so, funny. Yeah. yeah. The sweater is actually, um, we, we, in the front panel, mm -hmm. we use the brass. Brass, okay. Yeah, so the brass is, uh, is a material for a lot of instruments. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, in the back panel is aluminum. Okay. Yeah, okay. so the... Um, the benefit uh, is not only on the acoustic part. Mm -hmm. You know, you have different materials in the front and the rear, so that you can control, you can easily control the uh, uh, the sound. Okay. And also, you know, the front panel is more, it's actually heavier, mm, okay. and that will be easy to stay in the ear. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And so, uh, it's a it's a uh, single dynamic design. Mm -hmm. uh, use the technology we call topology diaphragm. Okay, is yeah. that, those are the different uh, the diaphragms with sort of the different uh, shapes? Yes, okay. well, we have different patterns, different shapes, and mm -hmm. different coating. Uh, so we can easily control the uh, parameters of the driver. Gotcha, gotcha. And so it sounds uh, um, very, very natural and uh, open, open, uh, open sound stage. And it's a single dynamic driver? It is single. Yeah. Oh, wow. How, how big is the driver? The driver is about 9.2 millimeter okay. diameter. All right. So it's a tiny, small one. Okay. Um, and so um, for that one, it's, it's a universal. Uh, it's not customized. Gotcha. Um, however, the uh, the design uh, have a lot of in the uh, customized in the year as a uh, as a reference. So it can still to be it's suitable for most of the years. Okay. So most people should find it comfortable uh, yeah. to to wear. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, the uh, the last product, the third product we we uh, we want to release mm -hmm. in, in the Kenjam is uh, EF six hundred. Mm, okay. Yeah, this is this is. Hey, the hey there we go. This okay. is amplifier. Wow, look at that. Yeah. So this is uh, uh, it's a head amplifier and uh, a deck. Okay. Okay. So it, it can take the USB, mm -hmm. uh, Bluetooth, mm -hmm. and uh, the uh, speed diff. Okay. Okay, Excellent. and there are output uh, supporting the RCA and balance, balance ah. in, balance out. Okay. RCA in, RCA out. Okay. Okay. Can so, it also work a little bit as a preamp then, if you wanted to, or? Uh, it can work as an independent deck or independent headphone amplifier. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So, um, this is there are two outputs: there are balanced headphone output, and there are regular uh, six point thirty five. Gotcha. Uh, millimeter uh, regular headphone jack. Okay. And so um, you notice that there's a small logo here. It's R two R, which means right. it's a leather deck. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. It's a built-in leather deck called Himalaya Pro. Oh, that's that's the one that your your uh, technology design then the, the Himalaya that. Uh, yeah, the Himalaya is the first generation we released it about two years ago. Okay. And then the. Uh, one of the application called EF four hundred mm -hmm. uh, is one of the best seller in that mm -hmm. category. Uh, right. So people, they like the the leather deck is a uh, uh, is a kind of a rich world antique design. Mm -hmm. However, uh, most of the uh, hi fi people, <coughs> uh, the hobbyist, <coughs> they prefer the, like the sound signature from it. Uh, yeah, the leather deck is warm and natural. Mm -hmm. And so, although the uh, the measurement might not be as as good as the Delta Sigma, but uh, the objective listening is uh, unbeatable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is the second generation. So, okay. uh, the second generation uh, of the Himalaya measures better oh, than okay. the first generation. Oh, and, neat. But the measurement is only one side of the story. Right. Yeah. So the the listening. Um, the listening experience is mm -hmm. actually be way more important. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, there's there are some of the deck chips. Mm -hmm. Their measurement is phenomenal. However, mm -hmm. their objective listening become too bright. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's like digital, uh, not musical. Right. Yeah. So the the this one, the, the Himalaya Pro, is actually be measures better than the original uh, than the original one, the mm -hmm. original Himalaya, and actually the this warmer. Mm -hmm. And uh, natural mm. um, is uh, is more musical. Okay, so it's tuned to still have that nice warm sound signature. 
Yeah. Uh, okay. The warm the warm sound signature is not from like a, like a filter or the fake. Okay. It's actually uh, we uh, made it from mm. we made from a lot of detail. Gotcha. So it is real. Okay. So yeah. it's more like the, the the distortion profile or whatever the like second order harmonics and stuff like that or or uh, or not. It's not. It's not, uh, not. Yeah. Not. It's it's actually it's constructed by detail. Ah. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so. So the um, the measurement of the Himalaya Pro is actually better than the Purple. We nice. we actually we build a when we when we build this product we actually we we build a small uh, Purple PCM seventeen oh four deck mm -hmm. board. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a module. Okay, we build a module of that, and we actually compare the two modules, the Purple module and uh, the Himalaya Pro module side by side, and mm. the and the then the the result is that. Uh, um, the Himalaya Pro sounds, uh, measures better. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. Well, it's a, it's a really interesting looking product too. I mean, uh, and it looks like it did, it'll double as a headphone stand too. If, uh, yeah. If, uh, wow. That's yeah. nice. So yeah, we actually spend a lot of time and energy on, on the design this. Um, so we um, we want to make a, he a, a, a headphone amplifier can um, do everything. Right. So. Uh, right now, if you uh, listen to the music uh, from like your office or home, it, there's a lot of things on your desk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we want to minimize uh, the area that uh, the headphone amplifier uses. Well, as a guy who has a very messy desk, I appreciate that. Thank you very much for <laughs> considering me. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but that's yeah, that's it's really actually it's very ingenious. I mean, it's very neat that uh, you guys thought of that uh, that particular detail. That's sure, very sure. very cool. Yeah, and you know, the, there's a big piece of uh, uh, of casing uh, all by tuning, so it's. Mm. it's uh, the cost is pretty high. <laughs> oh, I don't doubt it. Yeah. Uh, as, as a, in terms of a headphone amplifier, um, yeah. how much power can put out? Like, can it drive just about any headphone? Okay. Yeah. So it can drive most of the headphones. Mm -hmm. uh, the maximized output in a balanced mode mm -hmm. is about four point four watts. Four point four watts. Okay. Four point four watts. You can uh, you can drive uh, Saspara over flagship model, very low efficiency. Oh, nice. In okay. a, yeah, in a in a very um, uh, in a very good, um, in a very good level. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Wow. Very, very neat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. May I see that? Oh, yeah. Sure. That's cool. Yeah. I just. Uh, it feels really good, and Thank it you. looks it looks dynamite. Ah, uh, and yeah, it's, it's got probably every input you could you could you ask for and the different gain levels uh, for over it looks like gain levels for oversampling and non oversampling is yeah. that right yes okay yeah it's uh, very interesting to have a leather deck playing um, non oversampling or oversampling <laughs> there and there's and there's a you can you can tell a distinct difference i mean yeah okay yeah. the non oversampling uh, the measurement might not be as good but uh, it's, it's more musical it's more musical okay yeah. Yeah. Interesting, and what uh, what has the price been set on this yet? It's eight hundred dollar. Uh, excuse me, how much? Eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That sounds <laughs> that sounds well. I mean, I from my perspective, that sounds pretty, like a pretty sweet deal for eight hundred bucks for for everything this thing does. Wow. Good. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, and oh, does, does it have Bluetooth as well? Right. It has Bluetooth. It has a Bluetooth support uh, air deck. Okay. Excellent. Wow, very cool. And um, when when will this be available? Uh, it will be. We will try our best to finish that in a month. So maybe on April, early April. Early April. Yeah. All right. Very cool. And I love the I love the sort of retro volume control knob. That's that's great. Yeah. Very very cool. Awesome. Well, this is exciting. I mean, it looks like you guys are really um, are really bringing a few a few really cool and notable things to uh, to the show and to market. So that's that's fantastic. Thank you. Excellent. Yeah. Well, um, is, is, or is, is there anything else that's going to be coming out later in the year that, or that you guys are working on? Or is this? Yeah, we, we are we are still working on some something new. So a, f a few surprises and then later in the yeah, year. Yeah, maybe in the middle of the year. OK, yeah. OK. Yeah. Keep a keep your uh, your eyes and ears open, guys. Um, it sounds like there's more to come. So. Fang, thank you so much okay. thank you, Carl. for your time. I really you. appreciate it, and I hope uh, you guys have a, a great uh, a great show. Okay, thank you, Carlo. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. And we're out. All right.